The road to success is paved in toil and sweat. Last week, you heard some of the stories from our contestants. The reason why they ventured into street food business. On today's show, we'll be visiting even more contestants. My name is Dr. Pounds. It's another week to hear the stories of how and why your favorite vendors took to the streets. Life dealt with her and she responded with food office. Let's hear from Supersonic how she found herself making food on the street of Kumasi. I became independent at an age earlier than most people. I come from a modest family. As the oldest child, as soon as I was able, I left the house in search of greener pastures. Faith had other plans, and I was involved in a bad accident. That sent me back home and put an end to my search for greener pastures. A couple years later, I got married and had my case. My marriage wasn't exactly all I hoped for, and six years later, the marriage ended. I was left to take care of my case alone. Being a single parent put more pressure on me. To look for a profitable venture, to fend for my case and I, I started a bush cat wood business to support myself and my children. This too didn't do well. It was stressful and I wasn't making any profits. I had to close down. Desperate for something to do that will at least put food on our table. I decided to start a food business. Cooking was something I knew how to do well. It wouldn't also require any serious capital. To start with what I had in mind, yam and pork, it wouldn't also be too stressful on me physically. Considering that I'm still living in the effect of my accidents, business started picking up slowly, but that didn't end my problems. I started having problems with landlords who wouldn't allow me to decorate my joint to my taste. At least three times I had to change locations and build customers from scratch again. But in all, I thank God because food office is still operating. Through it all, my humble business has supported my family. I am Angela Ejabin, a.k.a. Supersonic, old student of Kumasi Academy. Follow us to Rhodes Kitchen to hear Rhodes' story. I'm a home in Naya. My beer, Jumaya, and I'm a Jim Crow for a mini or muye, Jumay. Nanya say, Nakatia. Miss Anna, may I call an amy crum, Namia, many children and in your pa. The Kaiser Tama may I call anno, between you call market, and ni a foam, I could teach him Mura, and I'm a bay, and I'm in one of Cajunaya Casacas and I'm in one more. Tim, many children and young pa. Tama <laughs> Me ye different place me no. It's on which and me so send an yama cause car by me sem car cry to me yakasa. Me no more cra and I send me pair a pay se cra beti me the aquati. And I'm a sha se fit two thousand and three no. They send a mea buame ti manya baby magin cro fa me no mu ye ju. Ya family da man te se na me se me jumanasi. I do my dear, oh, yeah, challenge me, pray, a womb. The Midania Mias is ever the animal between Mania Baby Alpha Quammy War. The Midania Mias. Some disappointments are there to nudge us into the right direction. For this chef, a bad betrayal set him on his food vendor journey. 
and he has never looked back. Chef K from Kumasi Crawford. I haven't always lived in Ghana. I used to live in Africa's temporary, where I run a traveling business. This business has absolutely nothing to do with food. It was shoes and clothes, and I used to export them. In the land of my business, I made a huge investment. It should have been good for my business, but got duped by a so-called friend. From that point, things steadily started getting worse. And I was left with no choice but to come back home to Ghana. There was only so long I could rely on the goodwill of my family and I knew I have to find something else to do. I started with the easiest thing I could think of food. I also decided to go with the easiest option and I went for noodles. You think that will go well? It didn't. I decided to try something else. I added fried rice to my menu. People fell in love with my fried rice and I was finally, finally able to make some profit. It stabilized my business and put my life back to track. Follow us to Newtown as we visit the most popular food joint, Afu's Special Rice. I work with Biashi. We know we're here by Chile War. We're my man. We need no war. Even for our family, we're fair. We need. We're coming. We're coming. We're coming for your job. We're coming. We're more. We're coming. We're not getting dressed. Dear me. Wanyamwadrumo,niye Nwon Good fathers are role models, and this chef was inspired by his father to pursue a cooking career. Chef Eric from La Paz. Misano, na me pen papa asempa. Intino biya bisa mi se minya debe na me ya na me kache ni se pesi mi yesi se papa pepe pepe. Misano, na me kai se ya weekends. If you are now here with me, I know I will not or you will not be able to do it. It's not my son, it's not my son. We are saying, we are not perfect. We are not perfect. We are not perfect. And so, we are not perfect. We are not free. 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 Me re in free me juma da. I me imagine say me follow the footsteps. They know ye na ena me sume tuaso. Na me dey share ni nimonyam. 
yan so ne yan kwala kwala maku maku 5 eh ye me maame ene hwe ye nyina me maame nso no oton atajo sika ahia na onya ewo ade ton yi nso bo modin e de hwe ye nyina me maame a no hwe ye ma dwen se me pie me a me food business na me nso me nyi sika e da support me maame na me nso me yi bedin kakra e de free ni so me wi ss 98 and i'm starting my first business e wo adabraka sika me nya e de free sa business no na free e radio e ho e radio nko a me prayer sana me nya sika e da sha se me maame nso e boa me kakra me start here no so no anko form nso me prayer na me so me to me business ni din Dflex madam for nyum tunu bi ye fere no Dflex no ye popular pa gana de bi anim no ti na pese me din din eto so na me pese me duane no e ye popular pa nti na me din din no eto me duane ne so no ti si a metimi akase ejuma no ekoyie ma me pa me wo employee ma ku ma ku nine me ma me ni papa o mo nti ase no me hu de ma ye e wo ma se ni mu en so pen pen so we me ni se papa ene me ma me e bia yakopon e do ma twi bia o me ni achi o mu ya premi ko fi enim me ton duane e wo e kwa o deflex fast food na me wa rehim se da chi me duane yi e do ko wi ase afa na nyina All the way from Kaswa is Fauzia or Fauzia special who's from her younger age already knew what she wanted from life Abinchi ake da fawa gidam nkazo gidam ko one time da kasa mo abinchi mana kakana baba niana ko wa abinchi ke sewa esa ya bar da natashi na ga kana ya bar kwadan sadda abinci da da fawa ya shiga raina isa ma na na je school an kai ni school school gaskiya ban da ilimin school isa ya bar na ce ban zuwa school aiki abinci nan nan ke so yi don aiki abinci nan gaskiya na ga ma na suna sam in kudi cikin kuma muna cin albarka na zuwa cikin isa ya bar na ce ban zuwa school yaya na ya force na je school na ce ban zuwa ma na ta force na na ce ban zuwa isa ya bar wannan na na fita wurin ma na na koma wurin yayenta don yayenta ma abinci take sayarwa da na koma wurin yaya na da na koma wurin yayenta abinci take sayarwa ta karbe ni ta gwada min kan da ake dafa abinci kuma daban-daban isa muna aiki ni da yayen ma na wani rana aka zuwa ka ce muna ma na ba ta da lafiya isa na koma gida na je na duba ma na na ta bar mini aiki ina yin shi kadan kadan isa wani rana kuma muna aiki ni da ma na aka zuwa ka ce muna baba na ya rasu kun san rasuwa da ya sheda ta kaba isa ma na ta zauna ta kaba ta doki aiki abin shi na ta sa a nuna she sunan ta ke kan eh wangan company na sake sunan ta na yi shi fauziya special na gyara wuri na yi komi na gyara wuri na samu yan aiki sabo don ita gaskiya yan aikin ta umanni umanni ne na kawo yaran aiki yara sabo bi muka yi aiki family sum na da abiyoyi na da yayani na suka temake ni suna advertise abinci na samu na yi sticker na brand de abinci nan de har aka fauziya special e fara amma fauziya special ai ne fauziya special aja karam shike kai ta doki ta ba fauziya special also from kaswa is a young man who just wanted a regular job and had no plans to be a food vendor but life had better plans in store some are born chefs some study to become chefs and life just pushes some into chef dog me i fall into the third category 
food business wasn't ever part of my plan. I didn't make any conscious decisions in my early life to become a chef. I used to live with an auntie who occasionally took a small catering order and of course would help out on those days. So I knew how a kitchen worked. I was going to school and doing okay. After SHS, I started looking for work. Nothing came up. I tried my luck at an event place at Adabraka. I got hired at the butchery. That's where the food journey started for me. From the butchery shop, I got into the next place, which was also as a butcher. While also there, I picked up salad making skills and sort of became a salad expert. It was like a connecting chain. Each place I worked linking to the next. I got an offer somewhere as a shallot chef. The next few stop was a pizza joint, which I got hired because I still had some skill from helping my auntie back in the day. Through all this, at no point did it occur to me that I had given up the dream of a white collar job. This was already over 10 years of cooking food and surprisingly, I was satisfied. Life threw me in the path of Amwa and we forged a partnership. I can boldly say food is my life. I am happy and fulfilled because of food. My dream to impact. I'm going to be a chef instructor where students can have internship at one of the many locations we would be at. Food gave me happiness and gave my life meaning when I had no direction. I want to give others this same opportunity. My name is Chef George, and this is my story. Different voices, different motivations, different issues. What fixed things? Food and street food businesses that have come to mean so much to the vendors and their customers. The voting portal is now open. Don't forget to vote for your favorite contestant. To vote, simply dial star 844 star 80 hash and follow the prompt. My name is Dr. Pounds across evening mayor. Follow us on our social media handles at Street Food Ghana, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I'll see you next week. Have a great one there. I'm out. Street Foods Ghana is proudly brought to you by Food Bay TV and powered by Gino.